make a great big smoky toast to peace and understanding around the globe. Brother. After all, if history teaches us anything, it is that in the words of St. Bert, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. What a lot of total codswallop. History has taught us anything, it's that the story of man is one of long round of death and torture and burning people as witches just because they've got a wart. Ah, oh, sorry about the food by the way. Unfortunately my cook got invited to an orgy at uh, Rene Nardi's place. And so our chef for the evening is the man that cleans out the septic tank. Baldrick! My lord! God save us! I trust you're all enjoying your food? No, we're not actually Baldrick. What is this worry thing? It tastes as if someone with a bad chest cold has taken two spoonfuls of benzene to loosen the phlegm and then coughed all over an avocado. <laughs> Funny you should say that, sir. Yes, all right, Baldrick. Yes, thank you. You uh, may go now. I believe you have uh, some other duties to attend to. Oh, yes. Excuse me, please, everybody. <laughs> now, uh, where were we? We were very well toasting the future. Yes, and I suppose it may also be a perfect time to look to the past. Can I look at the past? See something already? <laughs> unless you're over amateur. Uh, good point, Mitch. Yes, yes, or, uh, or unless uh, one's got a time machine. <laughs> How likely is that? <laughs> well, very likely, actually, darling, because I've just built one. Stuff and stuff. I've heard some rubbish in my time. Every time I open my mouth, as a matter of fact. But a time machine? <laughs> I can assure you, it is not. This is an original sketchbook by uh, Leonardo da Vinci. And in the last year, I myself have built a time machine to its exact specifications. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest breakthrough in travel since Mr. Rodney Tricycle thought to himself, I'm bored with walking, I think I'll invent a machine with three wheels and a bell and name it after myself. Behold, the time machine. Well, James, my nipples have called me winter. It's a practical joke, sure. Certainly not. Certainly not. When was the last time I played a practical joke? It was the time you said you were dying of kidney failure and I donated one of my kidneys to save your life and then you said it was an April Fool and we had to throw my kidney away. <laughs> Well, yes, there has been the odd hilarious practical joke, uh, but uh, not this time. <laughs>